Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. We're at Mazagan Resort, which is in Morocco. It's about an hour from Casablanca, that's where we flew into. Actually, I really wanted to do this vlog because I get so much special access to incredible golfers like Isabel She right here. <laughs> she's been giving me so many tips since she's come to London and I just feel like I need to share them with you. You're gonna help me on a few holes, give us all some good course management. Mm -hmm. Help, Definitely. basically. When you're starting out, it's 95% technical, 5% mentality. However, when you start to master like all the technical and physical skills, it's 95% mental and course management, 5% Okay, I have a lot to work on. <laughs> I get really nervous when I step onto the range for the first time. Like I'm so confident when I practice and you've seen me on the range, you've seen me in the same. Really like good, yeah. I swing freely and I'm like woohoo. And I go onto the course and like I tense up and I become like this little teeny tiny ball. <laughs> yeah, I think it's so normal. It's basically you're just out of your comfort zone. You know, and you're going into like the big leagues almost. Like now you're going on course and you're like testing everything you've practiced. You just have to remember, like, you can hit the ball, like, you put in enough work, and now it's time to, like, make all that work pay off. How, how do I just get confidence? Like, um, it really is mindset. Yeah, really? you just have to, like, channel shots that you have hit so well before that you're on the range or you're on the sim, and you're like, damn, like, that <laughs> was a good shot. That was the one. And you actually have to remember those shots. You know, like how? an element of not caring, though, and yeah. like, I, think, I don't know why, I just, yeah. I care a lot because I want people to think, yeah. oh, she's actually doing well. Well, I think that is also the trick and that's a downfall if you care what other people mm. are thinking when they watch you because like it's your game. Like at the end of the day, like no one else really matters. That added pressure, like it doesn't help you at all. It actually like makes you play worse. It doesn't matter if you top it, doesn't matter if you chunk it, like it just doesn't matter. It's a good thing about playing with you. You make me feel really comfortable oh, and like, thank you. It does, <laughs> if I hit a bad shot, you're like, cool, let's go find yeah. it and let's see what you can do with that. Mm -hmm. And I really like that mentality. I think it's also important not to let like external factors get in the way. For example, like you're not always gonna play with a really chill person. Like you could play with someone who's like quite like fussy and uptight and like doesn't like music. And you know, there are people like that. Are you gonna let them just not let you play a good round? Yeah. You know, like you just really have to like focus on your own game. Channel it in a tiger woods. It. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, do you remember, you know, with Tiger and his dad, one of the reasons he's so good is because his dad used to like throw things at them. Yeah, I saw the documentary and it's like yeah, constantly distracting exactly. him. Exactly, and you just have to like be so focused on yourself, so confident, like no external factors matter at all. Let's do this. What would Tiger Woods do? He'd just go for it. Mia, mm -hmm. go for it. Go for it, Mia. <laughs> We've just played the first hole. If you want to see how terribly I played it, head over to Izzy's channel at She Golfs mm -hmm. if, you, if, if you're interested. She actually gives me some really good tips that are very, very useful. Mia did really well on the first hole. Don't let her fool you. No. This is the second hole we're playing off. It must be silver, which is yellow, right? Yeah, because yeah, the wind go the wind goes up. The grass goes up into the wind. Which is actually very important, which I never usually do, but you kind of look quite fancy when you do it, so you can just just grab a piece of grass and go. Oh yes. It's going forward, therefore it's in our favour, therefore we need to club down. Oh, the wind's coming towards us, therefore we're batting against the wind. Club up. Thank me later. See, this is what we're talking about. We have F A S H I O N here, fashionista sister. Oh, I love to see it. I would probably take an eight iron. I'm going to take a seven. I think you hit it a bit further than me. Don't feel confident in myself. Oh, first tip of course management. Never say things like that to yourself. It's very bad. Mia, what do you normally say in real life about confidence? What did what would Tiger Woods do? Fake it, make it. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Good like, fake you it know till you make it. When you think that in real life, in everyday life. The thing is, I really try hard, and I come out on the course and I do really badly. I think the main incentive, right, always when you're trying to get on the green is to get on the green, which means you should look at pin placement. Then you don't want to chip, right? You prefer to putt whenever you can. That pin is actually very far to the left of the green. What you could do for course management is aim slightly right. However, we did practice on the range and my miss hits are right. Are right, okay. Yeah, so maybe just hit straight then. Right. Confident. Oh, wow. Look at that. Did you? You're hitting the ball really well today. <laughs> like so well. 
Too good. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. See the confidence. I just like, uh -huh. come on here. Yeah. Pretend you're on the range. Like, you know you can hit the shot because you hit all the time. So. That's the thing. I know I can do it. And yet I come out here and I just hit the worst shots in the world. Like, I wouldn't even hit them on the range. And I'm, it's mad. It's madness. This game is total madness. I'm really just thinking about solid contact. And I'm going to aim slightly to the right just so I want to get on the green. That's my main incentive. Oh, lovely. Play on the green? Yeah. Cool. That was amazing. That was not a perfectly hit shot despite what it looks like. Really? I, it like, looked incredible. A lot. Wow. So, call this game of this <laughs> motto for today. That's insane. <laughs> Whoa, look at That's that. Nice. Oh my goodness. Right, I'm going to take a 56 and a putter just in case. Look at this. Is. What are you thinking? Like a chip shot or a putt? My rule of thumb is always if you can putt, you should putt. If you don't have like a lot of grass in the way, um, I always think it's a good option. I personally would putt on that. It's downhill, however, you do have that fringe in front. I think it's gonna roll more than I think. Mm -hmm. Settle, 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 settle. Ooh, that really ran out. It's okay. Next to you. It's not over. Another thing is put your wedges like here. Uh -huh. Otherwise you do leave them. Oh, that is a great tip. <laughs> I have lost many, many wedges because of that. So always put it on the way to your buggy. It did. Maybe you can go first and show me the yeah, line. Yeah, sure. It's uphill. Uh -huh. You saw that based on the It is going left to right. And I like to look at really big pictures. So for example, if you look over there, everything like slopes that way. And on top of it, I don't know if this is true, but usually it's true, it always breaks towards the ocean. The ocean is also on the right. Oh really? That kind of makes sense. Usually it breaks less if you're going uphill and you want to give it more of a run. Oh, that was a birdie. Goodness me. I can't believe how fast mine rolled when I hit my yeah, that was very downhill. It was quite straight, but however, you are at a different angle slightly. I would maybe do left edge. And for uphill putts, you always want to get it to the hole. Sit. All right, that's actually a really good distance to go past the hole. That's a, a mini heart attack right there. <laughs> so we're gonna get rid of that in our system now. <laughs> that never existed, it went straight in. Hole number two coming right up. Hole three, playing silver, three, 45, hole five. Are you just gonna aim down the middle? I guess it's quite a mid leave one, isn't it? Yeah, take advantage of the wind. And the middle of the fairway. That was so nice. Look at her go. Thank you. I'm gonna try and do the same as you, basically just straight. <laughs> just get it on the fairway and you're good to go. Just Lovely. On the fairway, really good. Very, very good. Golf is easy, right? Oh my god, it's so easy. When you're in the fairway. <laughs> oh, I can see the pin actually. That's good. That's a win. Uh, just go for any old club. Now I would just pick any old club because it's really far away. Mm -hmm. So uh, something you could do um, is, do you have a favorite club that you hit really well with? Like my seven. Your seven. Do you have anything closer, like a wedge or pitching like wedge. pitching wedge? Okay. So a really good way for strategy on a par five is you could hit to your favorite club. Okay. So if you just do a bit of math there. Ideally what you would have is like a five iron so then that would get you to like your pitching wedge distance And then that becomes like your scoring club. So you could just hit your six. We're gonna get, oh, gonna get seven. Oh seven. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what, whatever you like. So the bunker doesn't exist <laughs> A bit right, but it was solid you can make some mistakes on the part fives <laughs> you show us how it's done. I'm just gonna take my five wood. I really need to get into this hole anything between a six iron and a driver. Yeah, maybe a bit. That was a bit of a missed hit, but. You're closer to the green. Exactly. I'm okay with thinning the shot with my fairway wood because they're very difficult to 
and she's still going to probably score past. So it just shows you, you can hit anywhere on the course as long as it gets near the hole. Yeah, you can accomplish anything you put your mind to. Ooh. We're not all bad, you know, guys. We're not all bad. Is he? Yes. We're 104. Ooh, wedge. <laughs> I like it, I like it. It was like we planned it. I think it's honestly, it's because it's warm, it's rolling a lot more. Right. This is exciting. Ooh. 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 I think you could be dancing, but great shot regardless. <laughs> It's you, you're giving me chill vibes. Aww, I'm taking them from you. Thank you. Oh my god, don't tell me that's your ball up there. That is my ball. I got lucky and going to the bunker. That went so far. I honestly think I overshot mine a lot. I think you might have. I really overshot it. I didn't didn't think I was gonna hit it that good. Oh nice. Oh my gosh, it rolls so fast. <gasps> Next time, use a 56 degree and land it halfway. Oh. This is where you bring it back. You see, you just make mistakes. It's okay. <laughs> so I now will be <laughs> trying to make par. Joining me. Yeah. This is a bit uphill. This is very different than your chip. Mm -hmm. now. Honestly, just get it on the edge of the green. What do you think? A bit uphill, so maybe even a bit more. The uphill's going to stop your ball. Oops. Settle. Not too bad. I clenched my toes, my toes. Yeah. I basically just did yeah. that a little bit, to be honest. It's quite flat. Um, there's not much grass. And I always need to do Oh, that is a great part. All right, so always protect your bogey. Try to make it, of course, but if not, you are in tap in distance. All right, protect your double. <gasps> Yay! Oh, she did it. We're gonna skip hole four just because there's people behind us and we're gonna jump to hole five. This is the life of a golf YouTuber. Mm -hmm. A golf YouTuber, exactly. A lot of people, they always say like, oh, you're holding up the course, but we actually don't. This is what we do. We basically just skip a hole ahead. So we have time to film and not feel so like rushed. Welcome to hole five. 140 to the pin apparently, it's a par three. Who doesn't love a cute little par three? Can she make par? I really want her to. Her is me. I don't know. Oh, it's not the attitude. I need to stop this attitude. We're just gonna double check the temperature. We need to give ourselves as much help as possible. Mm -hmm. This is 164, am I wrong? So I do this thing where I shake and I just take it. Does it work? 142. That sounds more like it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the shaky golfer. What's the wind doing right now? Oh, good point. That makes a big, big difference. Actually, going back. So I think a 7 iron is perfect for you because you normally hit it, what, 145, 150? Do you see uh, for the pin, it's actually in front. And it's in the back, you want to hit a bit shorter so you can see on the green like you can actually take a longer club if you want and get it over the pin so at least you're not having to chip actually seven iron should be okay because normally you would take your eight i imagine for 140 yards that was so solid oh that you're with me you know what I could beat you on this hole. I think you might. I have faith in you. <laughs> You're meant to be like, no. <laughs> We're both on the green. What? Yay! <laughs> That's insane. We're actually way closer together than I thought. I might not beat you. Come on, I think you can. <laughs> Anything can happen. One thing, actually, I practiced on the range before I played today. First time for everything. Honestly, it helped so much. I should actually do that more often rather than rushing to my tea time. I blame George, you know? George always makes me late. And I would say, Izzy, you are a late person too. <laughs> yeah, I'm a I'm an on-time slash late person. <laughs> 
<laughs> George and I relate yes. quite a lot. I'm uh, too on time that I'm actually wasting time <laughs> because I'm already there. So for this final hole, it's literally going to be a bit of a playoff here. Pin is quite far away. And you, yours is actually a touch more difficult, I would say. I think so. I have this bridge on my side. I always want to look at the green. I would not have known from over there how Oh, do you pretend that your if your ball was here, how would it move to yeah, the I'm hole? Not, I'm not like a great green reader, but like big feel picture, I think it would swing pretty hard to the right. I don't know. It's one of those things you just fake it till you make it. Oh, you really went to use the ridge. Nice. Oh my, that's so good. Okay. Perfect that's pace. Not the right idea. Didn't like go hard right as much as I thought, but I thought it was good. really good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, let's go for it. I feel like it's quite uneven. Yeah, wow. maybe it evens out. Yeah, let's just see. But the most important here is going to be speed, uh, distance control. Oh, that's a really good speed, though. I should have gone slightly right, do you think? I think so. Yeah, I read it wrong as well. Sorry. Caddy error. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> it's neck and neck now. I know. Do you want to go fast? Because I feel like it takes the pressure off me. Okay. Or it could put, put the pressure on, on me. I make it. Good looking little putt here. It's that awkward distance. When in doubt, hit is straight. That's literally what I just did on my last one. <laughs> and it works. <laughs> oh, perfect. Now I'm under pressure. I can't continue being a baker. <laughs> Bogey baker. I like that nickname. No, like I'm a birdie baker. Oh, that, that's that is better. <laughs> We're working towards it. I'm gonna start somewhere. This is my year of going on the course. Mm -hmm. Bogey golf is really good. It's it's quite challenging. <gasps> Oops. <laughs> that went so far. It did. I just it. Oh my god. It's quiet, right? Left side of the putt. Left side of the cup. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright! We made it! Can you believe it guys? The last hole and we double bogey. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Do not take that as my golfing game. That is actually my golfing game. I believe that was a four putt. Is it? Say sorry. Like that. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's been erased from our memories. Yeah. No one will know except for you guys. Faster. Yeah, no one will know except for you guys. Yes. That was quite a tricky green. All I'm gonna it say. really was a tricky green. I hope you guys have enjoyed getting the little tits. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say tit bits, but I said tits. I hope you guys have enjoyed getting little insights into how to actually play a course so you can play like Izzy and not like me. I think the more I play and the more confidence I get, the better I'll become. It's just heading out onto the course and just not being scared. I'm just such a scaredy cat. You hit some really, really solid shots and strangely, like I think you just doubted your ability a bit because you like went way over and you went into bushes and everything, but like you hit like really solid shots. <laughs> but sometimes I also just don't think. I just, ah, oh, quick, let's get this over with and move mm -hmm. on to the next shot. So we're gonna learn to think a little bit better. But the good thing is obviously in these vlogs, you guys see me progressing and hopefully as I learn new stuff, it helps you learn new stuff. Plus you get inspired by really good golfers like Izzy. And yeah, it's just, uh, we're just all in it together. You're not alone if you're bad and you're not a, yeah, there's not many good people. You are alone if you're good. <laughs> It's lots and lots of practice. You gotta go through the bad parts to get to the good parts, and then it's a roller coaster of a ride. But you like me? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I went was through this. Shots, but then I just did it when I was like 12 or 13, just okay. a bit younger. So I started really young. It makes me feel a little bit better to know that you yes. have been through the same process. Oh, I process. promise you, every good golfer has gone through being a bad golfer. And did you're not even a bad golfer. You're just inexperienced. Like, I think so. Did you go on the range lot? Or were you on the course loads? I was doing a bit of both at the same time. Yeah. I've not done a bit of both. But hey, you do golf however you want to because golf is yours. Mm -hmm. Yours to play however you want. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe because it means a lot. 
I don't know why it means a lot, but it does. And I will catch up with you in my next video. Bye.